Good morning everyone, it's great to have you along. I'm about to set off again. There's a boat behind me, the boat is working on his boat using a drill or something, so it's quite noisy. So I'm not going to say too much now, catch up with you shortly. Hi, and thanks for joining me. Using my new Nicholson's Waterways Guide number three, I'm going to explain the extent of today's episode. In the last episode, I had moored just short of Hillmorton Locks, about here. Today, I carry on I pass through the three pairs of single locks and I head into Rugby. And this episode will finish with me arriving at Bridge 59, just going under the bridge. The noise is still in the background. I'm less than a mile away from Hillmorton Locks. There are three pairs of single locks there. I'll be going through those. That will be the only locks I'll be doing today. I'm not really sure where I'll be mooring up. Again, I have a plan, but we'll see what comes to fruition. There's actually a lot more mooring space beyond the bridge than I thought. To my mind, there probably would have been space here yesterday, but I didn't bother to walk up because I thought if there's an odd space and I go back and move the boat, another boat might nip in. So I can see the sign coming up for the locks. I did notice a lock keeper just now. In fact, there are two lock keepers. They're not directing me. They have directed me <laughs> into the left hand lock. That's wonderful. Lock isn't ready yet, it's just opening the gate now. Morning. Good morning. Morning. I'm Alan, I'm a volunteer at Watford. Alright. Oh, yep. Well there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Probably I've run out of biscuits. I've got some sweeties though. Put us on the IOU. I've got some sweeties. I wasn't expecting lockies yeah. at Bronxton yesterday. Oh, yeah. This is so nice to have help. It really makes all the difference. Going down pretty quickly. <laughs> Just leaving the lock now. That was very quick and efficient. It's wonderful. Thank you very much. Will you be popping down to the next lock? I'll do that myself. Okay, that's great. Cheers. Thanks very much. Take it nice and steady. <laughs> They're going to walk down and do the next lock for me, which is absolutely fantastic. It really does make a big difference when there's help. The time you save, well, it's fantastic, it really is. I'm 
hanging back a bit because I'm not sure which lock I'll be going into. I can see activity in one of the locks. I'm now making my way into the next lock. Nice and easy as always. locks here are different as they have these slogans carved into the balance beams. Just leaving this lock going very well. Alright, fine. Thanks very much. The lady was just telling me I'll probably be going in the right hand lock. Does help to know. I've just been signalled to go to the right hand lock. There's actually a boat in the left hand lock already. There's a lovely Austin pickup truck on the right here. Very nicely restored. And on the right is a short arm off of the uh, canal. I don't think that actually has a name though. There's only one ground paddle working on this particular rock. We had a seven week closure at Watford and they never fixed the gates on the top lock of the flight which leaks like a sieve, it's terrible. Yeah. Thank you so much, thank you very much. The exhaust is very close to the wall. And that's it. I'm on my way. Thank you. Just about to pass some moored boats. These are long-term permit holders only. There is a water point here, maximum stay one hour.
got a bit of bounce on my tiller arm. I'm sure I didn't have it when I set off this morning. It's not severe though. I think I will have to check it later. I'm going to have to check that weed hatch now, I think. There's mooring along here with Armco. I'll just go up a little bit. It's a real nuisance, but there is some vibration there which I feel shouldn't be there. There's lots of nettles down here on the side. It's a real nuisance. I've moored up, I'm only on the centre line, I'm going to be as quick as I can. <laughs> oh dear dear, turn the engine off I think, there we go. Just let that drain for a moment. I always have a prod around with a wooden stick to start with. Yes, there's something there. It looks like vegetation. I'll free as much as I can with my stick and then I'll have a, a better feel around. It actually feels as though I freed it now. Yep, I can't feel anything. Yep, that's got it. I'm happy with that. That's hot work. <laughs> I'm quite wet, my glasses are wet. <laughs> Just need to put the uh, put the hatch back now. Well that was hot work. I've got it done. I lost about half an hour in time. I'm pleased I stopped. Sometimes I stop and I find nothing, but my instincts were correct on this occasion, which is really good. So I'll shortly be underway again. It wasn't actually a great deal of vegetation. So it's surprising that such a small amount can cause such an issue but it wasn't a big vibration anyway. What I did do when I'd finished putting the weed hatch back and tightened it down securely, I ran the engine in forward and reverse gear a couple of times. There was a boat coming past at the time. I didn't film it, but it all sounded very good. It certainly sounded clear. So, I'm underway again. just going under Kent Road Bridge, number 69. There's a mule on the left here, home of rugby. 
I haven't actually mentioned that um, I will be going through rugby very shortly. I'm just on the outskirts at the moment. Hello. Hey, nice camera. <laughs> ah, my narrowboat venture. YouTube channel. It's amazing the difference cleaning that uh, propeller has uh, made. I think I might have picked it up late yesterday. I was getting some vibrations, but not through the tiller arm. And it did sort of make me wonder what it might be. But the boat feels lovely now. It really is motoring along, cruising along. <laughs> I won't say speeding along because we don't go very fast. just about to go under Holton Bridge, which is a new bridge, which is all part of the residential development I've already mentioned. And I see etched into the concrete work, it says 66A. I'm just coming through an awkward bridge. Awkward in that it's blind. going to be passing a lot of more boats now and <laughs> it gets rather narrow. boat right behind me now. It seems to come from nowhere. It's even worse. There are two boats behind me. <laughs> I just don't like being followed. <laughs> oh dear. There's an arm here on my right. Not sure what it's called offhand. coming through a narrow bit which uh, I couldn't see very well because I'm stood so low down. I don't know if you can see behind me. See how it narrows down. <laughs> if you're not paying attention I would have hit that. <laughs> I'm just letting these boats pass. There's nothing coming down. I'm on a long straight so it makes sense. Just letting the other boat pass me now on another long straight stretch with no boats coming. I'm 
was just telling me he's going to tie up shortly. <laughs> you just can't tell, can you? And you're just slowing me up a bit. I've already lost time today, but I'm not rushed, so that's the good thing. Running along a residential area here. Coming now to a stretch where there's a lot of moored boats and it's going to be very narrow. At least I've got two boats ahead of me to pave the way and hopefully say there's another boat coming behind. <laughs> you can get very tight through here. That's it for now. Many thanks for watching. Look after yourselves, your friends and families. Until next time, take the utmost care, bye for now.